Welcome back, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review. Today, we have a long anticipated video that I have gotten many requests for. That is a versus series between the Glendronic 18 and the McAllen 18. But before I go any further, you may have noticed I have a special guest today, Keith. What's up, buddy? Thanks from the Malted Man Cave. Excited. I'm excited to drink your whiskey. Always. <laughs> Who, it's always a good day when you drink someone else's 18 year old whiskey, is it not? Yeah. So, Keith. Is not a stranger to my YouTube channel. Uh, we haven't done a, a video together on this channel, but I have on his before. So Keith, <laughs> that's not true. Have you done We did the Klein Leash Twenty One. Oh, we did do everything with whiskey exchange. At Billy's, yeah. at Billy's uh, tattoo yeah. shop. We did three of them. Did, I forgot. Was it Lock Gorm? I think. We did. We did three. Yeah, we did that one with the Lock Gorm because we just got it that day. We did a few. Yeah. So this is your second time on the channel. Let me tell you a little bit about the Versus series. All right. I essentially try to take two whiskeys that are very similar. In this case, they're both 18-year-old, heavily sherry, one Speyside, one Highland single malt scotch whiskey. Now, the thought is, regardless of price, if someone else is picking up the tab, like today, which one would you rather drink purely from an enjoyment? This guy. Like I didn't just bring him four whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just here mooching. Clearly from an enjoyment standpoint. From some long row red. Plenty <laughs> of good guy. ones. <laughs> But they're not on the video, so they don't exist. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to pour the Glendronic 18 in the glasses that will be on our right, on your left, and then the McAllen, vice versa. So let me give you, as it were, the tale of the tape. The McAllen 18, which is the 1996 vintage, by the way, Edrington, um, is at 43% ABV, where this Glendronic 18-year-old is the 2016 version, which I believe makes it 20 years, 20 years old? Being the Glendronic... Uh, what year is this? This is the 96. No, what year is the Glendronic? 16. So that's going to be about 20, 20. About 20 years. 2021. 20, about 20 like years old, roughly. Yep. Glendronic Might 18. be 21. So it's kind of a little bit unfair, right? Because this is more like a 20, 21-year-old whiskey. It is. To an 18 year old. Yeah, so the Glen Drock's definitely going to be older. And again, with these whiskey versus series, it's not exactly a one to one. The ABVs are a little bit different. The cost is definitely different. The McCallum's actually darker. Yeah, so. It's kind of surprising to me. Yeah, so let's get into some basics. These are both natural color. <clears throat> McCallum is chill filtered. The McCallum is 43% ABV, where the Glendronic is 46. So the Glendronic has a tip up as far as ABV. Um, and I agree. Man, I. I had a McAllen cast strength um, a week ago at a bar. So good. The old school ones? The old school 2008 oh my version. Gosh. And they're still selling those for $15 at Wings Restaurant in Columbus, Ohio, if you're ever here. It's an incredible whiskey. But Will he sell us a bottle? I already tried. He said no. I was way ahead of you. He said I couldn't if I wanted to. And I said, well, how about if I give you a Boone Heaven 25 as a gift and you just gift me a McAllen <laughs> cast strength? Didn't work that day, but I'll try it again. Um, but I agree with Keith. Um, I wish McAllen would bottle higher ABVs. That are more readily available and affordable, but we must play with the cards that were dealt, my friend. All right, so first thing is we will look at the color, Keith. Which one do you think is darker? I was actually pretty surprised. I thought the Glendronic was going to be darker, but actually the McCallum is, in my opinion. I completely agree. Probably a shade or two darker than the Glendronic, which... Yeah, not by much. Not by much. I'd say more like one shade, but I guess I could see two shades. But you're right. McCallum kind of gets a bad rap as far as being a uh, penny-pinching distillery where they overcharge and give you just the basics to make it good i just think i think that started about the early 2000s before then and this was in 1996 right 96 i mean obviously the even the older ones were even better but i still feel like in even in 1996 they were still producing quality pretty good stuff quality stuff don't you yeah. think about the 2000s 2005 2004 when did edrington take over um 97 vintage but they still got casts that were left over from when remy had them right oh for sure but i just think it's you know it, you know, they say it's 18 years old, but they could have 19, they have 20 year old whiskeys in it, just like it was Glendronic. We don't know. But again, I will say this it's a sign of either an older whiskey in this uh, McAllen 18 or better casks because it is darker than a whiskey we know that's 20 years old. Yep. Or maybe it's a different cast that imparted more color into it. But again, I was also surprised the McAllen would be a better color, a deeper, richer color. Because again, it's it's three percent lighter in ABV, and you just think that Glendronic is this huge sherry punch that's incredibly dark, and it is. But again, that's why we do these versus series, give you a tail of tape to see which one's actually better. All right, let's 
talk about this nose. Which one are we doing first, Glendronic? Yeah, go for it. So for me, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm gonna talk about how amazing the Macallan 18 is. But one thing that, when I smell this, I smell more earthiness, which makes me think, which I know Glendronic has, they use Dunnage warehouses. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one thing that sets them apart just in general from a lot of other sherry bombs is that it's almost like you get, like you mixed in must like dusty earth with a little bit like cocoa powder. There is a, a gristiness to it, is there not? Just for me, it's an earthiness. I will say this, it's, it's a stronger smell. You mm -hmm. can really smell the difference in the ABV as compared to the Macallan 18. It's, it's definitely more intense. Milk chocolate. I, you know, every time, powder. every time I drink this Glendronic 18, I get that cherry, that Morello yeah. cherry, like just right off the bat. Yep. Other than, of course, with the, the chocolate, I feel like it's like oh. chocolate covered cherries almost. Absolutely. Freaking amazing. I mean, you, of course you get the sherry first, but then, you know, I try to get past that quickly just to pick up the other distillery characteristics. And again, that cherry is so prominent on the nose. Mm. But yes, um, very cherry. I guess we're going to take a little sip too. Sorry, I already get into it. Mm. That's why I'm saying I have a little bit of water. So I got a little bit of ginger. You definitely. I got more ginger on the Macallan 18. I know we're not talking about that quite yet, but mm. there's a little bit of ginger. Nowhere mm. near as much as the Macallan 18. Oh my goodness. Um, Coco Lopez. So I, for all the Glendronics, I get this like coconut. Have you heard of Coco Lopez? It's like this kind of creamy coconut type thing that yeah. they put in a lot of like fruity drinks, yep. mixed drinks. Coconut creamy Coco Lopez. A little bit of leather on chairs. Not too strong like you get in the older Glendronics, but a little bit of leather. Sure. Yeah, that cherry, man. Oh, Chocolate covered cherry. So prominent. I mean, that's what you get. Just, Those are the main flavors. Just luscious. It is. It's good. All right, I'm moving on to the Macallan. Now, right away, it is not as aggressive on the nose as the Glendronic, and that's obvious. You know, like the, the famous Flint matchsticks that you always yeah. get with yeah. Yeah, a little bit of that burnt matchstick, you're right. Yep, but then strong, strong ginger, which I, which I really enjoy. Oh, yes. It's delicious. It, it's something every time I have the McCallan 18, it almost makes it feel smoother than I think that it, it almost is. Yeah. Because it's, you still get that cherry, you get the ginger in place of, say, the cherries, like the second note that comes up in my opinion, on this particular one. But it, it feels more refined as far as the nose, and there's less of that sherry overcoat that is with the Glendron. Not that I mind the sherry overcoat, but I just feel like there wasn't any finishing casks in the Macallan 18. It was just casks that went the entire distance, and there was no finishing period, where this Glendronic 18 gives me the impression of a finishing really? cask. It does to me. I don't get that at all. It, it feels like to me like it was maybe aged in second or third fill. Really? Sherry for a good amount of time, 18 years, and then for nine or 10 months, it was dumped into a first fill sherry cast to give it that sherry. Again, what I perceive as a sherry over. It's all subjective, right? Sure. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> Known for Glendronic told me. <laughs> Man, I get a, what is that I get? A tad bit of cinnamon. It's not real strong. It is a little bit of spiciness. It's just a little bit there. And another fruit, like... I mean, of course, you get like figs and dates with all the sherry whiskeys. There's almost like a dark peach to this too, like a like a burgundy. You remember peaches? Yeah. You get the really dark peach. Yep. I get and a pomegranate too. I'm not that familiar with pomegranates. Like a chocolate covered pomegranate. Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? And to me, this is a richer smell. That's I know it's less alcohol, so once you get past the alcohol difference, I feel like there's more depth to the Macallan as compared to the Glendrock. See, I'd go the other way, but that's, I think the Glendronic to me, because of the earthiness, I feel like it's a little bit, I mean, they're about the same, let's be honest. To me, I like Very them close. about equally. Very close. Because And I appreciate the different nuances to both of them. I like the like kind of musty, mm -hmm. earthy cocoa powder with that one, but then I love like the tad bit of cinnamon, the ginger. I actually like the matchsticks, like Flint. Macallan. You, you know what I like about the Macallan is everything. Rubbery, then it, mixed with all the delicious sherry. Yeah, it. It, there's, it feels like there's more flavors in this overall. And it feels like it's smoother. Really? To where this is more aggressive and mm -hmm. the flavors... I can't go with you there, but... Are, are more forefront. I don't know, in my opinion. You're, you're, you love your Macallan, though. 
And you know, I, hey, I you think love it, I, McCallum I think typically more, and I like Glendronic as a whole typically better than you. But that doesn't mean each, either one of us is right. That's just what we prefer, right? That's okay, our individual palates. Okay, so we already know the McCallum's darker. Yeah. What do you like better on the nose? For which, which one do I like? Which one would you prefer on the nose? Yeah. I, lo I, I love going back and forth on the nose. I like. Man, that's hard. They're they're almost equal, man. But I actually I really like the earthiness. Of the Glendronic better? Because it, it almost makes it, it keeps it from being too cloying to me. Um, now, not to say that the McAllen 18 is cloying at all because it's freaking phenomenal. I don't know. I just, I, pref I, I love Dunnage Warehouse whiskeys, and I can tell that this one was, and I'm not so sure about this. I agree that the nose that I prefer, even though they're different, I prefer, th this one is, the notes pop a little bit more in the Glendronic. Mm -hmm. They're a bit richer and more refined in the McAllen, in my opinion. So I, in my, in my opinion, I like the McCallum slightly better as far as the nose, just like the color. It's close, but I like it slightly better. I'm getting a little bit of walnuts on the Glenduronic 18 now on the it nose. Keeps evolving, doesn't it? That's yeah. that cherry overcoat wearing off. The reason you can really pick up everything that's underneath it. Oh man. It's tough, isn't it? It's I, close. The, the McCallum is more spicy. So I really like the spiciness with the sherry, but mm -hmm. then Glendronic is like kind of more milk chocolatey, earthy sherry. Juicier too. Mm -hmm. it's, like both, a, it's like a richer, more I mean, dessert. I can't say I really like one more than the other. It's close. <laughs> I it love really them is. Both. All right, let's taste them. Let's go with the Glendronic first. That's strong. That strong cherry. That cherry's there. Mm -hmm. Figs and dates are there. Plums are there. A lot fruitier on the palate than it was on the nose. Milk chocolate, cocoa powder. Oh yeah, milk chocolate is definitely there. That depth, like earthiness that I get. Oh, and you're right. After after you swallow a little bit of the linger, there is that cocoa, almost like a Glen Morangy signet. It has that, mm -hmm. not quite as is, is, is chocolate, as is cocoa-y as a signet, but there is that same yeah. element there. On the nose, it's more milk chocolate, but after, uh, you know, when you take a sip of the Glendronic, mm -hmm. it almost turns into like a bitter dark chocolate as it, with a little oaky drying influence. Like it starts out, it kind of does the Highland Park 18, yeah. 21, 25 thing where it starts out like really luscious and makes your mouth water and then mm -hmm. it like dries out. And it's watery again. Yep. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. Now I threw a little bit of water in there. Feel free to uh, add a few drops, my friend. Fancy here at the Mike's Whiskey Reviews. Hey, one of my uh, hopefully subscribers, but definitely someone who watched a few videos, he, he had suggested I use that water as opposed to anything else I get my hands on. And he was right. McAllen, 18, Rolls Royce of whiskey. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit like chocolate peaches. A little bit of that water goes in, it goes a long way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Really opens up. I mean, you don't want to because it's 43% ABV. You don't want to put a lot of, a lot of water into it, but man. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Is that McAllen? Mm. I'm drawing a blender on it. Oh. I'm moving on to McAllen as far as taste. All right. You can definitely tell the ABV difference right away when, when, it, when it hits the palate, in my opinion. It's definitely that extra 3% with the Glendronic gives you definitely something more on the palate without question. So it's a little thinner, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and again, those, those, that, that ginger, those subtle spices, not, not always so subtle spices, they're all right there. Yeah, McCallum, you definitely get a lot more of the, the spiciness. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, like hot red hots, mm -hmm. and a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, definitely, a little milk ginger, chocolate just a bit. Like, yeah, the slightest bit of milk chocolate. And you're right, the red hot thing. It is a little bit it's, of that It's there. more spicy, mm -hmm. and I enjoy it. These two are just, they're kind of different animals. They're both very similar, like sherry, but then they like kind of veer off. Yeah, I mean, more the, like earthy milk chocolate than this, you know, the McCallan 18 does like more spicy. Yeah, no, it's it's a different take on essentially the same game. Being a heavily sherried mm. do you 18 year old the, single malt. Do you enjoy the rubbery kind of smell to McCallan? McCallan? I love I've, it. I've always I love it. I've always kind of considered that a firmness. Yeah? In the whiskey. Because again, it, it's, it's a little bit lighter than Glendronic, but to me it has... A lower ceiling, but a higher floor, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always a certain amount of dense. It's always a certain amount of spicy. 
and that sweet cherry. I don't know, I mean, McAllen 18 is a fantastic whiskey. I wish they had bottled it at a higher ABV. Mm -hmm. I think it would do. I think it would do it a lot for this whiskey. But all we can do is say, with what we have, this is what we think. You're gonna get mad at me. Go for it. I think. I think the Glendronic seems a little bit more rich and it has more depth to it on the palate. For me. On the palate, I would agree with you. On the nose. But that's probably because of the chill filtration and agreed. the ABV. I agree. And it's actually a little bit older. <laughs> oh, no, agreed. I agree with all those things. So, someone's buying, picking up the tab at the bar, because this is a $300 bottle. This is a $140 bottle. So you can get two of these for this. So we're not, we're not taking that into account. But if someone's picking up the tab at the bar, which one would you pick? Gotta agree. And I, I got to tell you, when I came into this, I assumed I would say McCown. But I got to tell you, the Glen Drunk's a better whiskey. At least now. It's not a fair fight, though. This is what? Two, little, three, uh, two three years older. Sure. Higher ABV, not sure. so filtered. Half, so, and McCallan. Half the, and half the cost. Yeah. McCallan, you make a freaking fantastic whiskey. Just give us what we want, man. Just don't chill filter. Don't chill filter. Higher ABV. Three more percent. Is it really going to charge more? I mean, I mean they, they really do. Like, they have some of the best spirit. In the whiskey industry and obviously that's how they got popular but i feel sure. like they're a victim of their own success and now they don't have to quite do some of the, you know what i mean they've shaved it down to the bare minimum yeah this but. i fantastic i would drink this all day and if sure. i was rich i'd always have this in my bar because i love it well, I do. and it's oh, i love the spiciness to it i love the matchstick like rubberiness that i get with the mccallan 18 it's it's freaking fantastic it, it, it's a and great first whiskey. of all I mean, we're not all into appearances, but it's pretty cool to have McCallan 18 like at your house. It's just I, such a I staple still, ball in whiskey. I still remember the first time I got it, put it right in the middle of my whiskey bar. Heck yeah. McCallan 18, bang. How much does it go for here in Ohio? 300 right? bucks. I was like, it's like two, two seventy nine plus tax. I've seen it for tax. I feel like I've seen it for like, oh, you see you're counting tax then. Because mm -hmm. I've seen it for about 260, 270. Yeah, oh, yeah, plus tax. That's what's that. I tell you what though, with that McCallan cash rank, the old 2008 version, I'd rather that, I, that's a better whiskey than this 18 year old. I would pay three hundred dollars for McCallan uh, no age statement cast strength. I completely agree with you. I've only had the McCallan cast strength twice. It's incredible. And it was at a bar, and I remember it blowed my freaking mind. Like it was so rich, it was so full, bursting full of flavors. Like, oh I know. I, I, I'm afraid to say this because it was like two or three years ago, and I only had one or two drams. It, it might have been in my top five, top. 10. Oh, absolutely. It was I'm, that good. I'm trying to snake some of a, a, a now. Did the they chill filter it back then? Oh, I mean, 60% ABV. I don't see yeah. how it could be. I don't know. Well, anyway, Keith and I both agree on this one. We go with the Glendronic 18 as the victor on, to, well, at least with today's matchup, over yeah. the McAllen 18. So I know a lot of you guys were uh, curious as far as what I thought about these two 18-year-olds after we did the 12-year-olds. But Glendronic on, on this day comes out ahead. So I want to, again, thank you for joining us for another one of, another one of Mike and today Keith's Whiskey Review. Thanks for letting me mooch your uh, whiskey, buddy. Anytime, brother. Cheers.